Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Nourishal. Now we will go through how you will get so much more free space on your hard drive by clearing up your folders of a Garry's mod. Now, in most scenarios, you don't want to delete the whole game because there are many things you'd want to keep, like things that are not available to get as uh, workshop files. So if you have mixed styles like most builders have or if you have careful settings and stuff like that you might not want to go with a free install. And uh, you still want to really purge your Garry's mod add-ons and stuff like that. So I'll show you how to do it. The first step you want to do is go to the workshop. You go to Garry's mod Steam Workshop and then you go to your files and then you go to subscribe articles and then you browse through your subscribe articles and make sure that you are unsubscribed to everything you don't want to have and be sure to stay subscribed of the add-ons you'd wish to keep so just go through all your pages and unsubscribe to anything you don't want to have that is uh, first important step if you subscribe to a server a collection of many 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 add-ons then you can just go to that uh, collection site and unsubscribe to all of them at the same time however I already done this so I will keep this as it is now what you want to do is you go ahead and start your Garry's mod while inside Garry's mod you go ahead and up, open up your console in the console you want to run a command which is called menu underscore clean up gmas this command will try to purge your folder of add-ons and they're removing lots of add-ons like that that you're unsubscribed to and no longer use and this is what causes lots of space now you can close down the Garry's mod now and we will do something interesting we'll go into the steam folder now the steam folder is usually installed on this computer C program files steam um, or if you install it somewhere else you have to find where you install it so you can go and find your games then you go to steam apps common Garry's mod Garry's mod again and here you'll find the Garry's mod files now I'll begin with the least important sometimes you can have some custom installed old maps on maps and if you don't use them you need to delete them manually or keep them if you wish to have them the other place that you really want to check is something called not download it's usually not much there you can just hover over and see how many megabytes this and only 20 gigabytes so I don't care about that but the downloads this is you know this is like seven no uh, two two point seven gigabytes and this has a lot of server add-ons that uh, you can go ahead and delete them if you really need them next time you connect to server you should just subscribe to it um, otherwise you know maybe you know some of these are in August so I don't know if I'll connect to these servers again so I can go ahead and delete, delete all these files and after we've done this we will be needing to go to the add-ons folder and now things get a bit complex now this is important that you are subscribed to the add-ons you want to keep because it's so many audiences 300 objects we don't want to select the add-ons we want to delete by hand no 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 we delete them all and then we download them again that's the easiest way however if you are like me and have installed some things that are custom add-ons that are not available in workshop then you need to move them first to safe location so what you do is you create a new map 
then you go into here and you copy or actually you cut out the things you want to save you go to the safe location and you just paste them in and move them over when you've done this we'll begin to remove so what we basically do we just copy all of them then we hold shift delete to remove these objects permanently and now they are removed now what you want to need to do now is you need to start the game and download all the add-ons but of course you want to put back your add-ons you kept for safekeeping so you just paste them in there and there you're ready to go now there are a few occasions when Steam or rather Windows 10 specifically says that you can't delete a file from program files now there is a solution for this and I'll just go through it in case you have this problem you need to go to this page called lockhunter.com and you need to download lockhunter so lockhunter is a tool that will make you remove stuff that you wouldn't be able to remove otherwise it basically forces through the protection so you just want to go through and install this and it lets you basically unlock files by force and remove files by force when Windows 10 complains and it, you know, doesn't say you have permission. Now, you need to be careful with this. This tool can also <laughs> make you remove stuff you don't want to remove. So you want to be sure that you double check what you remove before you remove it. Yeah. Anyways, start up Log Hunter, and when you want to remove a file, you can just click Browse for a file, and then we'll select some nice file to remove. So, just find some file you don't need. For example, we don't need the trash here, so you can just select this and this file. And you can see nothing is locking this, so we could remove it normally. But we can remove it through this. And if Windows complains, you can still remove the files even though Windows complains. So what you want to do is you want to, of course, uh, select a drive or folder. Uh, and this is where you don't want to mess up. You could basically remove your entire drive by clicking so so I wouldn't recommend that I would recommend being a bit careful anyways this is the tool you can use if Windows complain but now you should have much more free gigabytes um, left of course if you are still subscribed to all the add-ons you removed then it is completely useless but usually you try out some new game modes and then you decide you don't want it and you try some maps and you uninstall it and they never get removed uh, manually. Sometimes the purge command works so you can try that first but it doesn't work for everyone. Might also help if you run uh, Garris mod in with admin permissions but uh, well you could see I had 300 add-ons there before and they weren't removed even though I restarted the computer and now we have only 94 add-ons so we will just wait here and you know let Garry's mod install the add-ons and when Garry's mod has installed all the add-ons that you are actually subscribed to everything should work as normal and your Garry's mod folder should be much more lighter, giving you loads of more hard drive space to play around with. As you can see here, 
In my case, it seems that we cleared up around 20 gigabytes. Of course, they all haven't downloaded yet, but I think I saved myself around 20, 15 gigabytes by doing this. So if you have a SSD like me, this is a huge tips. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you next time. Check out our Discord and see if you find some fun people to talk with. And I'll be catching you next time. This is Jim Lism, Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.